Fun kids. Kristen. Thumbs up, up yeah. Okay, so everybody knows sea lions eat fish. So if you're a sea lion who's unlucky enough to live in the wild, you've got to catch your own. And so to do that, we've got a few features about it. The first one, the very important one, is whiskers. So if you look at the front of his nose, you can see he's got lots of whiskers on there. Every sea lion has got between 40 and 60 whiskers, and every one of them has got 1,800 nerve endings on it. So very, very sensitive. So sensitive, in fact, that even if the sea lion were totally blind in the wild, they'd still be able to find their fish, just by being able to move that the fish make, because they swim about in the water. Now, another way, probably an obvious way for most people, is teeth. Say, ah, oh, yes. here we go. Let's turn around so everybody can see. He's got 34 teeth. A very big sea lion might have 36 at the most, but only pointy ones for catching and grabbing. They don't chew their food, they're like dogs and children. So, if we throw a couple of these, I've got some cake in here, a bit of mackerel, if we throw some fish at Claude, you should notice it doesn't touch the sides at all. Uh, so Claude, are we ready? You ready? Uh, yeah, say yes. Thought so. Don't need to ask that question. Here we go, there's one. No chewing, let's do another one. No chewing on that one either. But maybe the most important feature they've got is eyesight. And they've got the same sort of eyesight that people have. That's called binocular vision. So that means two forward-facing eyes, and they can judge speed and distance very, very well. Or well, should be able to. Uh, so we're going to test this by throwing these five hoops I've got here over Claude's head down there. Now, a lot of people in the audience, so I think everybody can count with me. So, are you ready? All right, here we go, then, ready? One, another one, two, three, four, difficult one for the last one, four, there you go. Five, well done. All right, now that was all very nice, but we didn't come here to learn anything, did we? No, right, look 
carefully at Claude's face then. Do the cameras in if you've got a camera. Because have you ever seen a sea lion? Get ready, Claude. Smile at the audience. That's nice, isn't it? You can have a clap for that one. There you go. Come around this side, let's show these people over here. Alright, so now he's round here. Uh, you can see his whiskers. Yep, he's got black and white ones. All have got the same job. Very, very, very sensitive. There we go. He's got his teeth as well. Say, ah, oh, look at your teeth. And you can see if you're close enough that his teeth are black. But they don't start off black. When they're born, uh, the teeth are white. And as they grow up, they get covered in special bacteria on them that turn them black. So they're not rotten. That is the colour they're supposed to be. But we're going to do the eyesight thing on this side as well. So I'm just going to run up here. And uh, is everybody ready to count with me? Enthusiasm, are you ready? All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. Take one for the last one, Claude. Oh, that. She's meant to do that thing on the last one. Right. Do you want to see the smile on this side as well? That's smiling on half the face. That's rubbish. You're not getting into that. Let's do it properly. Ooh, ooh, smiling. Yeah. Well done. We'll turn him around so these people on this side can have a look as well. Shuffle around here a bit. iPhone's poised. Here we go. Three, two, one. And something else funny. Stick your tongue out of the audience as well. Look. Did you see that? They don't do that at Colchester Zoo, do they? <laughs> All right. Let's get him back in the pool. Let's take him back to the uh, stage because we're going to do some bow jumps. And we're going to start his bow jumps from this corner over here. There's Charlotte. And Charlotte. We'd love to sell you a book or post on the way out. Maybe even both. There are some nice ones up there, so go and see her as you leave. But Claude, we're going to bring you up to this bridge. There. And I said we're going to do bow jumps, so we are. But bow jumps has got a proper word for it. Proper word for bow jumps is porpoising. So this is porpoising. And all it is is jumping in and out of the water lots and lots of times. Now, a lot of different animals in the sea can do that. So seals, sea lions, penguins, dolphins, some kinds of fish can porpoise as well. But there is one animal in the sea, Claude, that definitely doesn't porpoise. What do you think doesn't porpoise? A porpoise. Porpoises don't do the thing that is named after them. It's fascinating, hey? Now, that's enough learning. Let's do something a bit more fun. Come down here with me, because over the winter, Claude has been learning, nearly fell over there. Claude has been learning to do some new stuff, and one of those new things is swimming over to this side of the pool where I am here, jumping out and hitting this blue and white ball we've got. Not with his nose, which every sea lion can do, and it's boring and easy, and he can see it anywhere, uh, but with his tail, which is a lot more difficult. So, Claude, are you ready? Yes. Nice little nod there. Go for a big run up for me. Everybody watching the ball. Here he comes. That wasn't the best one I've ever seen, but it will do. <laughs> All right, now don't make yourself comfortable there, mister, because you are going to pop in the towel for me. Off you go. While he goes up there, we're going to get this blue thing out and bring it to the front, because Claude is going to do a high jump for us. Let's put that there. Now, what is at the top? Do you want to see a handstand? You don't sound very keen, are you sure? I want to see a handstand. That's a nice one. Smiling as well. <laughs> All right, now I've got a whole mackerel here. We're going to count down together from three to one. When we get to one, he is going to jump theatrically off the top of the tower, jump up and grab this fish. So, are you ready? Yeah! All right, count with me then. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Uh, now, I think that's enough stuff on the stage. So for the next bit, I want some volunteers. Aha. All right, yellow and pink behind you. Come back, come, come back, come down to the first two. Connor's going to show you what to do. Someone in the middle, anyone in the middle? Yeah, you there, come down the middle hoop. And white t-shirt and the one in front of you as well with the red coat. You can come down and help each other on the last two. 